Welcome everyone to Bloodborne. This is going to be somewhat of a long video. I want to show you how to open this gate from the opposite side. And to get to the opposite side, we have to take a long roundabout way to get there. We're going to be facing many enemies. The most powerful enemies of which will be werewolves. We'll be facing two werewolves and these two werewolves will likely prevent you from getting to the gate. But you won't be seeing the werewolves for a long ways distance. Um, right now we're just going to be facing these lesser enemies. You're going to see me make a lot of mistakes on the way. This is actually my first successful attempt at getting to the opposite side of that gate. The strategy to kill these enemies is quite simple. Just wait for them to pass and then sneak up behind them and do as much damage to them as possible. Now you saw me do that swinging arc motion. I believe that's by holding down for a few seconds or so. That guy will always be there, the one I just killed, will always be there resting at the bottom of the steps. And if you ignore him, he'll shoot you from behind. He can take off a lot of damage, so you gotta be careful. Now be careful here too as well. There's going to be a guy sneaking up. Comes out from out of nowhere. How to get 19 blood vials? Well that's from just dying a lot to be honest. And re replaying this uh, level as much as possible. Just trying to progress in the game. So I'm going to be drawing enemies out. I won't take on all these enemies in the open. Now you can face all those enemies at the bonfire. I don't know about all of them, but quite a number of them out in the open. But you have to catch them with that special attack that you charge for like two or three seconds. You want to take out this guy from behind as quickly as possible and then you have to be careful with a dog. There's a, there's a dog in the area that you have to be careful with. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to go for that dog, kill it. Oh, this guy distracts me. And that's, that's what you have to be careful with. That dog, that dog can knock you down. Now you have another gunner from up top on the opposite side. And that that is another enemy you have to be careful with. as you can see, because I didn't kill a large number of those enemies out in the open, and I went up the steps, and I took this long walkway by these buildings, instead of killing them out in the open by the bonfire, they're coming up from behind me, they're coming up from the sides, and I'm getting flanked left and right, so I had to retreat, come back up here, and kill them. Now I'm going to go after the gunner. The gunner's a problem, like I said before.
kind of a strange atmosphere. Just people laughing. Now here's an enemy you have to be careful about because if you skip him and you go up the steps that I'm going to show you in about a minute, he can come up behind you later on and um, do some major damage when you're facing the enemies up on top that I'm about to show you. Go up these steps. Then up these steps. And there's like several enemies here. See? Okay, we're going to go up these steps. And here are the werewolves. Now you're going to see me get my ass kicked by these werewolves. Um, because what these werewolves will do will attack you. They will attack you as a group. You won't be facing them one at a time. There is a parry maneuver, but I believe it's uh, you shoot with the gun. So it's L1, and then as soon as as soon as the enemy is about to shoot you, you, disrupt its action by pressing L1, shoot your gun, and then some sort of sequence will happen with the enemy. And then once you see that happen, you press R1. It's an attack that will take off a massive amount of damage from the enemy's health bar. What I could be doing here is switching my trick weapon, using the axe yet yeah, with two hands, and then charging, and that would uh, make me create a, a sweeping uh, motion with the with the axe. That would take off a lot of damage to, to the werewolves. But for this walkthrough, I didn't know how to uh, do that maneuver all too well. I learned the maneuver after this walkthrough. So you won't see me using it much in this walker. So as you can see, those werewolves are quite a problem. You don't want to go that way. That leads to like the sewers. And in that area, there are some very powerful enemies.
We have to descend these these steps and go into this small building. And we have to descend the steps about two floors and get to the bottom, come out of the building. And then we have to go up the steps and then we'll be uh, at the gate that we need to be to open it. careful with is that there is this there is this one enemy that has um, that's like sitting on a wheelchair it looks like it's already dead but it's not and if you um, get within its range it's going to fire I believe it's gonna it's going to fire some sort of weapon at you that would do a lot of damage to your health bar Good. We don't want to go down there and face those two enemies. We won't stand a chance. We're gonna go up these steps. Up these steps, and there's the gate. Now we can open it. Now, from this checkpoint, we can instead of going the roundabout way which is very which takes a long long time we can go through the gate and get to the uh, the top of the bridge area which will lead us to the boss <laughs> 